Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. This is going to be a very interesting and important video because uh, many students have replied and answered to the question of average uh, salary of life science graduates in India and about the average salary of life science graduates in abroad. And people said why in India the average salary of life science graduates are low. Even after MSc in life sciences, even after MSc in biological sciences, the salary of a student can draw in India is three to four times lower than what is paid in US. Uh, and other European countries. So what is the reason for that? I, I did some research and I found out this idea. There are four crucial points for which the Indian students are paid low after graduation in life sciences, after masters in life sciences and everything. So let's start with the point number one and that is the oversupply of graduates. We are creating huge pool of students every single year. If we check the universities and colleges, uh, Every single subject of biological science is now available. Earlier, there was a time when we were uh, in the graduation of microbiology. We were told that microbiology and biotechnology are something which is of emerging aspect of biology and are covered in less number of institutes due to infrastructural constraint. And that was true. But sooner, uh, every single college is offering graduation in uh, microbiology, biotechnology, masters in microbiology, biotechnology irrespective of the infrastructure and believe me still in India there are plenty of colleges uh, where students cannot do practicals with their own hands there are group systems where five seven eight ten students are there and one and two can do and rest of them watch still the same scenario even after 10 12 15 years and that creates a huge number of biological science graduates so-called graduates without technical skills and when there's huge number of graduates and the supply is huge but the demand uh, is comparatively low because there are no new industry of manufacturing units in india that requires biology graduates to be hired so less number of requirement but higher supply higher supply low demand so obviously the salary offered for that position will be low because if they offer 15,000 rupees per month salary you won't believe that for two position uh, two seats you'll see 2,000 people apply for it even with the 15,000 per month salary because there are a huge number of graduates just standing without any job that's first point point number one. Second point is lack of funding biology is a field or biological sciences is a field including the applied biological sciences that is biotechnology that is microbiology that is biochemistry that particular field which is involved with agricultural sciences involved with pharmaceutical sciences cosmetic industries FMCG that particular portion research and development is something where the students will be interested in to work with but that part requires significant investment huge number of investment but the funding that these sectors are getting is low so the growth of the sectors are not as per project projected 10 years back or 15 years back thus it causes lesser opportunity for the new graduates to be absorbed by those uh, you know uh, industry or sectors so that's why lack of funding is another big cause third important point for lower salaries in life science candidates in india is limited industry growth you know earlier when we were doing msc we were told uh, we are doing bsc we are told that this is going to be an emerging field microbiology is going to be an emerging field biotechnology is going to be an emerging field in india it will just rock the technological sector in india but it never happened bt never took off like it in india it graduates are getting 1 lakh 1 lakh 50 thousand salary a month while btech graduates are getting 20 thousand to 25 thousand a month in india so it's never it never took off and still you'll believe that you, you, you'll, you'll be made to believe and there are many uh, you know uh, industrialists and and also the point of view of industries and they are going to they're going to state this point that yes biotechnology is an emerging field in india this much of amount is uh, allotted for biotechnology gdp biotechnology will contribute that much important percentage of gdp in india in the coming 20 years the same dialogue we've been uh, listening 10 20 years back the same dialogue you are listening right now and still we are nowhere close to the reality so limited sector growth is another idea so it lags behind other countries and even it's not about the countries bigger or less there are smaller countries than india there are smaller countries in terms of economic growth in india but still those countries are going really good example for that is israel i can give you one simple small example israel is a country smaller than india in 
every single aspect still they are doing good research they are getting good fund they are uh, they are growing their biotech sector they are growing their industry and that is something that we need to consider and fourth and final point is a lack of skill set as i mentioned earlier there is huge population of biology graduates in india but how many of them are really technically skilled you know we are talking about skill based job in the days to come in the upcoming years those who will win who will win those who have skills so if you don't have proper skill set you cannot win you cannot get a decent job you cannot live your life properly so it's a skill set world and in the skill set world in bi biological field obviously you need to be able to uh, do practicals or which we call it practical or practical knowledge and apply practical knowledge handling instruments different techniques of biology and i believe that many of the students that don't even heard of most of the techniques and they don't even have seen uh, the machines in their eyes so even though the machine is there again they do practicals in groups so these things happen right so you need to be able to operate machines independently individually and complete practicals and practical findings individually so that skill set is missing if you take even best university students still you will find that technicality and skill set is missing so as the technicality and skill set is missing many life science companies requires employee based on this expertise based on the idea that they can operate xyz machine xyz techniques and if you fail to do so you will not get a job so these are the four important stops okay so it's like uh, oversupply second is the lack of funding third is the limited industrial growth and fourth is the shortage of scientific skill set that restricts the salary of indian life science graduate students and that is a sad reality and if you think something different than this please feel free to comment if you like this video please hit the like button if you don't like this video dislike the button but again please mention what do you think about the reason behind less salary offered to graduate of life sciences in india okay so that's it for this video if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye